Good morning, and welcome to this week's episode of Tiger Vision News. I'm Matt. And I'm Cooper. And, and TVN, TVN starts right now. Congratulations to March Seniors of the Month, Connor Landers and Rosie Glover. FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym today, and Winter Guard will be performing this week, so be sure to go out and check that out. Now, if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Infomedia, Dr. Debbie Coy, The Tiger's Den, Garrett Family Funeral Home, Ford Gibson State Bank, Ford Gibson Nursing Home, and Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center. The library's March Madness event is carrying on, and the Sweet 16 books are chosen, and we're going head-to-head -to, -head to see which is Fort Gibson's favorite. To vote for a book, go to the school website and then to the high school library page and follow the link. Votes for the Elite Eight are due by today. Yearbooks are now being sold for $45 from now until April 22nd, so if you haven't purchased a yearbook, you should probably do so. At the end of the second try, Miss West Environmental Science A class took a field trip over to the zoo. Here's a little more information. Recently at Fort Gibson, the students involved in the environmental science class took a field trip over to the Tulsa Zoo. While there, they were instructed to observe different plants and animals in their specific biomes. Miss West, the teacher of the class, said that the purpose was for the students to see replicated biomes that they had been studying. The students had been studying biomes for quite some time, and this allowed them to see all the different animals and plant life that lived in certain biomes, along with each biome's specific climate. Taking uh, environmental science, uh, it, we, we get to learn how uh, things we do as a society, uh, we learn the effects on the environment. So, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of cool, you know, we get the, that's important to learn. And then also the, the zoo, uh, the zoo was fun, you know, haven't got the, haven't done that since, I think, uh, fourth grade, fifth grade, somewhere in there. But yeah, it was cool to go as a class and spend the day up in Tulsa doing that. Got to eat at Cane's, it's a fun deal, so. All the students on the trip learned a ton of information and had a blast doing it. This has been Cooper Shirk reporting for Tiger Vision News. I was on that trip too. I had a really good time. It was a really fun experience for me seeing as that it was my first zoo trip. Yeah. Now let's go to Dallas for this week's Tiger weather update. <laughs> And Saturday and Sunday will also be sunny with temperatures slowly rising to the low to mid 60s. And our spring break is looking nice with temperatures holding near 60 with sunshine. There is still a slight chance of rain midweek, but overall the weather looks very spring-like. And we would like to thank Channel 6 for running this week's weather graphic. And now, a word from one of our sponsors. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. 
We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. This year's prom will be April 6th at Kilheron's Lodge in Muskogee. Prom tickets can be purchased from Mrs. Lobaugh. She will be stationed outside the art room before and after school and in between classes and in the student union during lunch. There will be no tickets sold next week due to it being spring break and when we return the ticket price will be $50. The week after that, the week of prom, prices will jump up to $100. No one will be able to purchase a ticket until all holds are taken care of. So please check in the office to make sure you are not on the holds list. Sophomores are allowed as guests but a junior or senior must purchase their ticket and accompany them to the prom. Any student who has earned a free ticket through fundraising must claim their free ticket to be put on the guest list. Seniors see Mrs. Imhoff to get candy bars to sell for the senior fundraiser. Now, let's go to Dawson for this week's Tiger Sports Update. Hey Tigers! Our slow pitch team will kick off their season with their first game today at Locust Grove at 4. The baseball team played Inola on Monday and lost 3-1 in extra innings. They'll play Wagner today at Wagner at 5, and tomorrow they'll play Katusa here at 1. Monday they will play Jay in Tackle Hoya at Jay at noon. Both our boys and girls soccer teams played Katusa last Tuesday with the girls winning 9-1 and the boys winning 6-0. Yesterday they played Holland Hall and at the time of the recording we did not have the results. We wish them the best. Three Fort Gibson High School members of the bowling team Max Wicks, Grace Carley, and Madison Parasoto were selected to participate in the Green Country All-Star State Tournament in Edmond two, week, two weeks ago. They made the top eight teams and finished their season falling to Heritage Lanes three games to one. Congratulations to our bowlers and Coach Wicks for a great season. This has been Tiger Sports and now a word from one of our sponsors, followed by a story of our spring break plans. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes, located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes, where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Spring break is right around the corner. During this week-long event, sometimes students prefer to take a break from their busy school time schedule. This may include going to a theme park or even heading over to the beach. My plans for spring break are we're leaving on Friday to go to Branson and we're staying there till Monday. Pretty much and then we're coming home. And then Friday and Saturday I'm going to the zoo in disguise zone. My plans this spring break um, are to go to Houston, Texas with my um, older brother and we are going to go down there for about the whole week and mainly like we're going to probably watch a uh, Houston Rockets game. And uh, we plan on just hanging out and having a good time. Over spring break, I am going on a seven-day cruise to Cosmo, Belize, and Mongolia, Isla. Um, we are staying on the very bottom level of the cruise ship. Kind of makes me nervous, but this is my first time ever going on a cruise, so I'm excited about that. Remember, if you don't have anything planned for this spring break, you should at least just take some time to relax. This has been Cooper Shirk reporting for Tiger Vision News. Our FFA students will be working hard over spring break. The Oklahoma Youth Expo started on Wednesday and will run through the 22nd. The Oklahoma Youth Expo is recognized as the largest youth event in the state of Oklahoma. The Livestock Show brings over 7,000 exhibitors, along with their educators and families from all of Oklahoma's 77 counties. We wish our Ag students the best of luck. Now, let's head over to Noah for this week's Riddle Me This. Schools teach us that intelligence is measured by how well we do on tests, but I'm here to prove that intelligence is measured by how well you perceive a question. This is Riddle Me This. You ready for a Riddle? Duh. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get it. Alright. How can you name three consecutive days without saying the days of the week? How can you name three consecutive days without saying the days of the week? How can you name three consecutive days without saying the days of the week? How can you say three consecutive days without naming the days of the week? Monday through Wednesday. Oh, I'm saying the days of the week. Dang it, that's why. Today, tomorrow, and yesterday? Yep. Most simple. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh, bro, what the? <laughs> See, we were thinking too hard. I was thinking it. about that. I was thinking. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's all the time I have for this week. See you next week on Tiger Vision News. 
Thank you for watching this week's episode of TVN. I'm Cooper. And I'm Matt. We will not see you next week because of spring break, but the following week we will be right back with more Tiger Vision news.